everyone welcome back to the channel hopefully everyone's doing well and thank you so much as always for stopping on by you guys and today we're gonna go ahead and test out surfetch this is a rank one surfetch just so you guys know i don't know when i caught it oh actually 617 my birthday awesome so caught it on my birthday and it's a nice present for me i guess and this is a this is a perfect surfetch and i'm gonna go ahead and max it out to 1500 for the great league right away no waiting you guys i've been waiting this a long time <laughs> When waiting for the Great League to return. So I'm going to max it to 1500. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and double move it. Currently already has counter and close combat, which is great. So let's go ahead and invest another 50,000 Stardust while we're at it. Brave Bird. Mm, that's an interesting combo. I wonder if I should consider using that. But <laughs> no, not not right, right away. Maybe um, in the next video. <laughs> let's go ahead and try to aim for that Leaf Blade, you guys. Leaf Blade instead of Brave Bird. There we go. On the first try. Awesome. So... This Surfetch, perfect IV Surfetch for the PvP Great League. And we're running counter, close combat, which um, will drop your defense severely. 100% chance of that. <laughs> and then we have Leaf Blade as this other charge, which is the counter, there's the zoom rolls, you guys. And Surfetch, a great counter for um, for all those Galarian Stunfish we see. So let's see what we do to how we do with this uh, new bird today. And before we hop into some battles, let's go ahead and do our usual subscriber spotlight of the video, you guys. Every video, I like to go ahead and thank a very special subscriber. And for today, I want to go ahead and thank Destructive Motion, you guys. Destructive Motion has been an awesome, awesome subscriber to the channel. He stops by my live streams, comments every video. He's been an amazing subscriber. And thank you so much, Destructive Motion, for all you do for the channel. As we see right here, that it's officially 6 o'clock. So I'm, let me go ahead and just check some of these seals. I won't check all of them. But uh, <laughs> because I actually did catch a shiny one a couple of weeks ago. I'll check one more. See if we get a shiny on camera. No, not today, but that's all right. That's all right. Let's go ahead and hop into the battles now, you guys. Hop into the battles. See what team we're featuring today. Let's do it. So, Great League. So, we're going to go ahead and run. Uh, uh, that's a, a lone Marowak in the lead position. That's going to be a Hex alone Marowak, not a Fire Spin one, a Hex one. And it's going to be running that uh, Shadow Bone charge move. So, Hex, Shadow Bone, and Bone Club. And it gets the charge move very, very fast. You'll see right away. In the leak position. I, I want to run Surfetch in the middle instead of the lead. I've seen other people run in the lead. I'd rather have in the back being able to counter down some opponent and having energy for whatever comes in next. I like that uh, opportunity for Surfetch. And then we have our Zoom Roll tank in the back. So whenever we test out new Pokemon, I'd like to have an Zoom Roll just in case if we need to. So I'm still rank 2 right now. Just taking it very slow as always. Uh, we're facing a rank 4 though. And we're facing AJ in the first battle here. So let's see what we do against AJ. So I've, I've seen some pretty good players uh, ranking up so far. And we get another, uh, we get a Hypno, which is a, a good lead for us, especially since we're running Hex, right? And we get to Shadow Bones really quickly. Let's see if they swap out. We got to get, uh, make sure Firefresh stays away from this Hypno, though. Let's go ahead and throw the Shadow Bone right away. If they're counting moves, they might not notice that I'm running Hex um, and they weren't looking carefully enough. Uh, so let's see. If they shield this, they do. Okay, okay, no worries. Now they swap into their... Stunfist is a regular Stunfist. So let's go ahead and switch into our uh, Farfetch. And let me think. I know our Farfetch is pretty squishy, you guys. Pretty squishy. So let's go ahead and just let one Mud Bomb go through. I want to see how much damage it does. Okay, so we can't let another one go through at this point. So let's get off of the Leaf Blade now. Leaf Blades will be uh, super effective. So I switched into Surfetch, of course, just because it had a, probably a better matchup against the Stunfist, to be honest with you, than the Zoom Roll, especially if we're going to be behind on energy like we would be. So let's go ahead and shield this, farm it down. Expect the Hypno to come back in, which is fine with me. Um, so Mud Bomb shielded. It's nothing that Stunfist can do, but to go down at this point. So let's go ahead and just click on the Leaf Blade. I'm expecting the Hypno to come in right away, maybe even though a Charge Move. So let's go ahead and not waste this energy. Get this off, they'll farm us down, which is fine. We'll just come in with the Marowak. They did not wait to come back into the Hypno, so the Switch Clock actually is not even ready yet. So we're gonna go down now. No problem. Farfetch or Surfetch, excuse me, did his job. Come with, the, come back in with the um, Marowak. Oh, a little bit of lag here. And let's see. Um, trying to think. It could have Shadow Ball. So let's go ahead and shield this, you guys. Oh, it's an Ice Punch. Okay, let's see. See, I know they have energy. I know they have energy. Let's go ahead and throw off the Bone Club. Let's see. They haven't swapped out or anything yet. I wonder if if they are even running Shadow Ball. So, so they're pretty low now. They're not even, they didn't even use a shield there. So the, I don't think they have Shadow Ball, you guys. Or else I feel like they wouldn't have risked it and, and potentially lose all that energy. So yeah, they don't have Shadow Ball, or at least I, they didn't get to it. So down they go. So in comes their uh, Sceptile. Let's go and throw off the bone, uh, Shadow Bone. 
So Subtile is going to be some trouble for us. So we got to get this slash shield off right away. And then I'm trying to think how I want to play out the rest of this match. Um, there's a last shield. And I'm trying to get to one more Shadow Bone. I would love to. Okay, we can't get to one more. But will we survive this potential Leaf Blade if that is what they're throwing? So let's see. It is a Leaf Blade. Do we survive? Oh gosh, Sliver of Health. Let's go and just... Oh gosh, I had the Shadow Bone. You guys, I had the Shadow Bone, but through the Bone Club. So I'm going to swap into Azuma right away. And try to get to work on that Ice Beam. Alright, okay. Switch into Azumarill. I'm going to have to tank one Leaf Blade here. I just don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. What is the play? I don't know if I have any. I might go down right in the first game. Because I think they might get to the next Leaf Blade before I get to an Ice Beam. Will they? Oh gosh, yeah, they did. They did, you guys. So, good game to my opponent. I was debating whether to swap right away to the Azumarill. But I had to get that shield off first. So down we go in the first game. So there you go. Oh gosh, uh, the Marowak's still alive. I almost forgot about that. But no sweat. Let's keep on moving right along. I mean, Surfish did well in that in that first game. I mean, it won a switch. And it, it, it countered the Stunfist pretty well. And that was a regular Stunfist too. It wasn't a Galarian one as I would have hoped for. But so nevertheless. So let's see who we get in game number two here. Rolati here in game number two. So let's see if we can rebound, you guys. Let's see if we can rebound. Marowak against Toxic Croak. So this is an okay matchup. We get the charge moves quickly, right? So let's see. Let's just spam away these uh, Bone Clubs. We're going to get to the Bone Clubs faster than they get to their Mud Bombs. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hmm, maybe I should have considered... Oh, okay. We get the shield anyway, so no sweat on that end. Um, but we got to shield up their Mud Bombs too. Or their... Um, or actually, they're their Mud Bombs. We're going Bone Clubs. <laughs> So, and they'll, they'll do more damage than we will. So, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and throw off another Bone Club at this point. I would prefer to throw off um, Shadow Bones, I think. So, let's see if they shield this one. They don't shield this one. I wonder if I can survive a Bone Club, or, or a Mud Bomb from this range. Gosh, it just does so much damage. So, I'm going to risk it. I forget. I haven't played a Toxic Croak in this matchup in a while. So, yeah, we do survive. Perfect, perfect. So, now let's go ahead and just throw off the Bone Club one more. And try to win Switch. And if they shield, then I, I might consider just shielding myself. I might. I, I'm not positive. So, down they go. So, we win Switch. Great. And let's see what comes back in. Uh, oh, it's a Sharpedo. But look at who we have, you guys. Check it out. Boom, boom. And now now they have our stun fist. Another regular stun fist, you guys. I've been seeing so many of these. So they're head on energy, so that concerns me a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to think. Sharpedo could be getting close to a charge move. So discharge, that's fine. I'm gonna get one shield back right here, I think, with this ice beam. Or if they don't shield, I think they're they have to shield their stun fist. They really have to. I have a charge move ready on the on the far fetch, or on the surfetch. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> incorrectly so many times during this video I, i'm pretty sure and we have a shield left on our end so i'm trying to think i just want them to farm though that's the thing i'm going to shield this because i feel like th if they discharge me i would have just a little bit of health where i can't get to the next charge room and i can't uh far and, and they can still farm me so that was actually just to prevent them to get to the, prevent them from getting to another charge move so i hope to either go down here or get to the ice beam okay we will get to the ice beam perfect so yeah, we'll get to the Ice Beam. Clicking on it. So Ice Beam. Uh, TM. Alright, Ice Beam. Down they go. Let's see, let's come back with our Surfish right away. Oh gosh, trying to get the Surfish right away. Throw off the Leaf Blade! Surfish! How about that? Taking care of the Sharpedo like nothing. And this Leaf Blade, of course, will be super effective too. <laughs> so a little bit of overkill there, but awesome. We re rebounded pretty nicely. And that's the nice thing about um, playing um, pretty much with an even level of emotions. Like, don't let a loss like impact the rest of your set. Especially when you're in a game where you felt like you could have won. And I feel like I may have been able to win the first game, but I didn't let it carry over to the next one. So we're facing a Mom Boys 666. In game number three. Everyone's wearing that those nice uh, Verizon hoodies now. And I'm not I'm not hating it. So we get Haunter in the lead. So this is fine with us because we're running Hex. So we're running Hex and Bone Clubs will be super effective. Um, pretty much everything each of us are throwing to each other will be super effective. And we'll get the charge move first. And that's the key. Force them to make a decision first. And then kind of like in poker. If you guys ever play Hold'em. I'm a big Hold'em guy. 
see what your opponents do. That's why you always want to be the last one to act, right? If you're the last one to act, then you can see what your opponent does. And then you can kind of uh, game plan. So now that I've seen that they shield, I'm going to shield too. And then I'll try to get to that bone club first. I think I experienced some lag and that's how they might have been able to get to that. Yeah, I think I, there was some lag, you guys. I felt it. So now they're able to get to the charge move first and I can't allow them to take us out like that. So let me see. So now we're there with the bone club. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I feel like we, there was some lag and we might have missed the fast move. And that's how they were able to get us. So now they, they, they shield. Will this be a double KO, you guys? I need to get to one more bone club. Oh gosh, I actually take out the Haunter with the Hex. Oh, awesome. Even better, I was only looking down at my bone club charge bar. I wasn't looking up and all of a sudden the, the, the Haunter is gone. So in comes their Azumarill. So I'm trying to think here. The Azumarill is slightly ahead on energy. There's no shield, so it really comes down to what my opponent has in the back. Oh, now they're switching to their Galvantula. Oh gosh, this is not a good matchup for us. Um, so let's go off the Leaf Blade first. We beat it to a charge move. This will be um, doing about a third of his health. A third of his health, you guys. So I don't know about us in this game. <laughs> I think this might be another loss for us. So yeah, the Galvantula just, they just had a better matchup in the back. They could easily have had a, uh, oh, they actually threw off a lunge, which is going to be resisted. So they're giving us a chance, actually, I think. Trying to get to that Leaf Blade, which would be a huge... Oh yeah, we get to a Leaf Blade. So, so that's something. Their Zoom Roll, though, well, it's a head-on energy. And yeah, we were lagging, so that, that wasn't just me thinking about that. <laughs> uh, so the Zoom Roll's going to be head-on energy. That's the thing. So we may not... And the, I think the Galvantula got one one uh, Discharge on us. Or uh, one Volt Switch, I should say. So if they have Play Rough, they could easily win this match, I think. Hmm. So let's see. Play rough, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I think they got this, you guys. <laughs> there's no way we can win, I don't think. Yeah, so there's no real winning scenario in this match. Yeah, we've been a little bit unlucky with the matchups in the back, to be honest with you. Um, so let's see. Let's see if we can get this close, maybe. Yeah, they're ahead by like maybe two or three fast moves, if I had to do the math. So I don't think we can catch up. So, yeah, there's no way. There's no way we can catch up. We have to pretty much get off a of play rough and an ice beam, and they're probably two or three fast moves away from an ice beam on their end. Um, so, play rough. See, yeah, we're going to probably be like one or two f close. Ooh, it's luck. It's luck oh my gosh, we got an ice beam first. Somehow, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're not running ice beam. Maybe they're running play rough hydro. Is it enough? Oh, down they go. Oh, right. So maybe they were running play rough hydro because I don't think they threw off a single. Yeah, they didn't throw off a single ice beam that entire match, you guys. So we somehow get lucky there. So having the right moveset on a zoom roll is definitely key there. And not not like my opponent's movesets were incorrect or anything, but we were just very favorable <laughs> because they had to get to the play roughs. Even then, I thought maybe they could still get to another play rough, but they didn't. And we pull out the win somehow. So awesome. Facing Poke Barreto. In game number four now, I think. Let's see who we get here. Marowak on Mar Marowak. Let's see if they have Hex, though. Because we have Hex and they have Fire. Oh, they have Hex, too. Okay. No sweat. I'm going to build up to the Shadow Bone. All right. I, if they threw off a Shadow Bone on their end, then it's uh, we win CMP. So this could be a very telltale sign. So let's see if we if it was a CMP. Oh, they do not shield. They, they thought we were baiting, I think. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Hmm. Let's go on and shield this. It's a shadow ball, so they didn't have shadow bone. So now they switch into their their um, wish cache, and I'm gonna. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I wonder if it's a good. Uh, actually, it's a good opportunity to come in with the the the. Um, oh gosh, we get a shield right away, so that's actually good because the leaf blade will be a one shot, right? So let's go ahead and not shield this. Just take it. And they have to shield the Leaf Blade, right? So that's good for us. Because, yeah, Leaf Blade would be a one-shot. So let's farm up just a little bit. Just in case if they don't shield. Now throw off the Leaf Blade. And I, I wonder... Yeah, I think if they shield one more time, I will shield. So down goes the Witch Cash. Night Night Sleep Tight. Back comes the Marowak. It doesn't have um, Hex Mem... Or it doesn't have Fire Spin, so that's... Oh, actually, it doesn't make a difference either way. See what they have in the back. It's a Zapdos. Let's go ahead and just throw off the close combat. 
gosh, another tough Pokemon in the back for our, our Pokemon, essentially. I wonder if I get to another close combat after this. So there's the first shield. And maybe I should have stacked it before throwing it. So that's fine. Um, trying to think here. Let's let's do this, you guys. Let's go ahead with Azumarill. Soak up the charge move that they have coming. Actually, we could probably just get to Ice Beam, right? <laughs> I could just go that route too. So let's go ahead and just shield this and just throw off an Ice Beam. <laughs> Our Marowak has a lot of health too. So if something goes terribly wrong here, then we can still come up with the Marowak, I think. So let's go. Oh gosh, a CM, uh, CMP tie. Zapdos will win that, of course. So. I'm thinking we'll survive whatever this is. Nothing really can take out a zoom roll on one shot. Yeah, we barely survived though. <laughs> so let's get off the ice beam. So very spicy Pokemon to see in the Great League. Zapdos, you guys. Get off the ice beam. Down goes the Zapdos. So awesome, awesome battle, you guys. And you see Surfesh coming in clutch again. Yeah, Mud Boys. Surfesh will just tear them apart. One Leaf Blade is all it takes. And they get to Leaf Blades really, really quickly. So it really puts a lot of pressure on those mud boys. So let's keep on moving along. Game number five. We're doing well so far. Aside from the, the slight hiccup at the very start of the match, we, we've rebounded very, very nicely. And that's all what, it, what, it, what it'll take to get to the leaderboards. And that's what I'm hoping I can maybe touch for the first time this season. We're facing Pagora XX in our last match here. Let's see if we can uh, finish on top. Uh, get Mandibuzz. So a bad, bad... Pokemon to see you guys. I'm hoping they stay in and they are so that's good for us So let's go off with ice beam first. Hope they don't shield Because we really have two Pokemon that is completely hard walled by Mandibuzz So they don't shield giving us some gleam of hope now. So let me see Hmm, I wonder if I should have just done the play. Oh, actually what if I've been super effective so let's let this go. It's a Shadow Ball. Wow, they really... Oh, they actually did not do that much damage, you guys. So I really hope they do not shield one more time. <laughs> Please don't shield. I I'm probably going to shield the next charge move. If they shield this for sure. Because I really have no answer to this Mandibuzz. Um, they're tanky. And both my po Pokemon remaining are, are weak against it. Uh, th they don't even have a charge move that will do neutral damage against the Mandibuzz. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this. Hopefully it's another Shadow Ball. It is. Okay. Be wary of a potential swap. Uh, let's get... Oh gosh. Lag. Uh, not at a very opportune time. Try to throw off the Ice Beam. <laughs> and we get it off. Let's see if they double shield this. If they do, I might double shield myself. So yeah. Down goes the Mandibuzz. Thank you. <laughs> Did not want to face... Oh, now they have another Dark Pokemon in the back. But this is fine with us. Because we have our um, Farfetch. So even though we couldn't get to a play rough there, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So let's let the Zoomer go down. It's done more than its job. So let me see. Oh gosh. Uh, come with the Farfetch. Or Surfetch. Here. <laughs> I keep on saying the wrong name, you guys. So in comes their... They swapped into their Marowak. We're going to have to trail this Marowak. We have Hex on our Marowak though. So let's go off a Shadow Bone right away. Oh, it's a CMP tie. Oh gosh, this is tough, you guys. This is tough. Um, I'm gonna let it go. Oh gosh, Shadow Bone. So let's get off our Shadow Bone though. Shadow Bone. I don't think they can farm us down though. That's the thing. I don't think they can farm us down. So let's see. So we can probably get to another Shadow Bone if they shield this. So they do shield and their defense falls. So we just gotta shield the next charge move on their end. So shield. Okay, that's fine. I'm shielding this no matter what. Shielding it no matter what. I'm low enough that the Umbreon hopefully can't farm me too much. And it's gonna get to a close combat on the the far the surf. <laughs> I was saying farfetch, you guys. Surfetch. He's a sir now. So let me see. Down goes the Marowak. In comes oh gosh. Uh, in comes the Umbreon. We had a little bit of lag there. So it's gotta get to close combat. I think close combat would hopefully knock it out, and I don't have to like stack charge moves or something like that, right? So. Let me see. Let's see what they throw first. See if it's last resort. No, it's a foul play. And we'll resist it. But we don't want to take too many of those, right? So let's go ahead and just just get it a little bit lower and then throw the close. Oh gosh, we have to take a charge move. I really hope this is not a last resort now. Even though there's no reason for them to have done the foul play when the shields are down, right? So it's another foul play. Perfect. So let's go ahead and just chunk it a little bit more. Throw off the close combat now. <laughs> I'm just so scared because Umbreons are just so darn tanky. So close combat. 
first one will be landing today and down goes Umbreon! Surfetch! Finishing off the game for us and what an amazing Pokemon! That's a rank 1 Surfetch so now you know you guys what Surfetch rank 1 is capable of in the Great League. Currently rated around number 12 or so on PV Poke. I know they updated the rankings to include XL Pokemon now. So let's see if this is enough. Uh, actually, I don't know if this is enough to get me to the next rank. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I got all the seals. Chikorita. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and quick catch it. And see. Oh gosh. Excuse me there for a second. Let's see. Oh, actually, I didn't catch it, you guys. Did not catch it. The stubborn little little plant looking little uh mailboxes <laughs> so let's see now we caught it i think so oh no we didn't catch it again don't make me use a golden raz on you boy so let me go ahead and and try to wait for it get a little better throw this time all right so we caught it this time right cool 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 let's see give me my rating awesome we reached rank three now so we keep on moving along you guys it's gonna be a long long season but i'm all geared up for it and just so you guys know i'll t i'll show you guys quickly i don't do this very often but my winning rate is looking decent 11 and 3 so far i have not been playing much but um i'm gonna slowly keep on chipping away and it's not about speed it's about efficiency so i definitely want to have a good win rate if you want to reach the leaderboard so i want to play every game very carefully and by carefully i mean have fun and play all these spicy pokemon so I'll, I'll just uh, take this time and say goodbye and thank you so much you guys for stopping on by and check out this video and if you enjoy me running new exciting Pokemon please do me a huge favor and support the channel by dropping a like comment subscribe and hopefully everyone out there is having an amazing scene of six so far so and I'll catch you guys all next time take care